It's Friday afternoon, and registration is underway for a Limud Jewish study weekend at a spa hotel in the Lithuanian resort of Druskininke, once a favorite vacation spot for the Jews of Lithuania. Close to 300 people have gathered here for the mini Limud weekend, sponsored by the European Jewish Fund. The participants are all members of Lithuania's tiny Jewish community that's struggling to maintain its existence. The main aim of the, of the, of the event is to try to attract through a different way the people who are not so much affiliated with the, with the community or maybe they would like to affiliate but there are not so many events for them. The accent of this Limud event is on young families and those who are attending for the first time. For that reason, children are kept busy with activities designed especially for them, while their parents can choose from sessions ranging from the light to the serious, from beauty workshops to lectures and discussions on Jewish history and the Talmud. Our people are mostly post-Sovietic people, people that grow up without religion. And for them, last uh, 20 years is like a starting school for Jewishness. We are trying to get people interested and to encourage them to get interested. We say to them, this is only a small thing, like the, like the eyes that we see on top of the iceberg. But we try to grab them, like in uh, marketing, to grab them and then people start uh, getting interested and, and so on and so on. 95% of Lithuania's quarter of a million Jews were murdered in the Shoah, the highest percentage of any European country. 100,000 Jews and 600 years of Jewish scholarship drowned in a sea of blood. There are officially 5,000 Jews in Lithuania today. The unofficial count is under 3,000. Community leader Faina Kukliansky says she believes current conditions for Jewish revival are good. I'm afraid to say, even I don't know how long it will continue, but uh, the situation as we have today, we have just a good environment for the Jews to continue uh, the staying here in Lithuania, to developing the community. And here at Limud, we meet Anna. Like her mother before her, and like many others in the community, Anna is married to a non-Jew. Uh, very, very lately, I feel somewhere inside of me some kind of arousing need for uh, becoming a part of it again and bringing my children closer to the Jewish community. Um, so I'm not that much involved into the Jewish uh, community life. But I do have plans. The leaders of the Lithuanian Jewish community believe that mixed marriage need not be an obstacle to Jewish renewal. You know, mostly not Jewish wives are more interested in Judaism than Jewish husbands. No, it's maybe funny, but there is something in that. Part of the legacy of 50 years of Soviet occupation are those young people whose parents kept their Jewish roots hidden from them. Tanya was born and raised as a Christian in Vilnius and is attending the mood for the first time after discovering that her grandfather was Jewish. She speaks to us in Hebrew after spending a year in Tel Aviv studying to become a Jew. I As Shabbat draws to a close, Simon conducts a Havdalah ceremony. And the faces of the participants show that something has changed. Windows have been opened in their hearts. Distant memories rekindled. This is Leah Zinder reporting for IBA News in Lithuania.